हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर लुकिंग फॉर अरेज इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डन विद वन डी अरेज एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टू डी अरे इन दिस वीडियो सेशन बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट I would like to request you to subscribe my channel Tech Talks and keep the bell ringing. So, what is two-dimensional array? Obviously, a two-dimensional array will be having two dimensions. In a simple words, we can say that it is nothing but a collection of one D arrays, and it is also known as matrix because matrix is having the combination of rows and columns. Same as of one D array. it also allows random access and all the elements can be accessed with the help of their index position or the index value this is nothing but the representation of 2d array as i told you it is nothing but a collection of 1d array so this is the first set of 1d array having the four values with the index position 0 1 2 and 3 this one is the second set this one is the third set Fourth set and fifth set, so it's nothing but the five set of one D arrays. Every set is holding four elements in it. So matrix is of size five rows and four columns. As I told you, it is a collection of five one D arrays, and every array is of size four. So in total, we can store five four zero twenty homogeneous elements in this matrix or in this two D. array let's take the example where how we can declare the or how we can use the syntax of declaration of 2d array just same as of your 1d array the data type is required which will help you to identify the homogeneous type of the elements then this is nothing but the name of an array in a 1d array there was only a single subscript because it was the 1d array and now this is 2d array hence two subscripts will be there the first will hold the row size and the second subscript will hold the column size so this is an example where integer a data type array a is a name two means how many rows will be there two rows will be there And three will indicate the column size. That is, three columns will be there. So here you can see the example. This is the zeroth row, and this one is the first row. And how many columns are there? Three columns are there. This is the zeroth column, first column, and the last column. As I told you, in the one D array itself, the index is always start with zero position in your array. So in the same way. Two rows are there means the zeroth index row is there and the first index row is this one and the same thing for columns zeroth column first column and second column here you can see this is nothing but the position of the cell this element is nothing but present at zeroth row and zeroth column hence its index position is zero zero this particular element is at position zeroth row and first column. Hence, the row subscript is zero and column subscript is subscript is one. Let's take this as an example, where this is belonging to the row one, hence row subscript is one, and this is belonging to the column two, hence column subscript is two. So, in this way, we can access any of the element in the two D array. So, this is nothing but the initialization, just same as of your one D array. only the thing we supposed to keep in mind that how many elements we can store in this array 2 into 3 2 3 are 6 so total 6 elements can be stored all they are separated by comma included in a curly bracket and ended with the semicolon so maximum 6 value can be hold with this 2d array so this 6 value as are initialized to this array and as we know every value will be initialized in a sequence With the index position zero 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 one zero two, then the first row will start for one zero one one and one two. So these value will be initialized in a sequence. In the same way, they are placed 
in the 2D array that is nothing but a matrix. If you want to access any of the element, then for example, from the given array, see this is an array of size 2, 3, that is 2 rows and 3 columns. If you want to access the element 1, 1, that is first row and first column, what it will be? Now, first row means 0 and 1, that is the first row. And first column, among the three columns, 0, 1 and 2, the column number is 1. Here you can see the answer, value present is nothing but 9. So, this is value present at 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0 and this is the 1, 1. Hence, the result is 9. Now, let's have a look here. What will be the index position 2, 2? Can we have any element which we can access from this position? Let's think and answer in comment. For this one also, let's have uh, the answer that which element is present at 1, 3 position and the last 2, 3 position. Is there any element is present at this position? No. Why? Because they are the invalid index position and they will result into either garbage value and this is also called as the logical error. Because at this position, these positions are invalid position because see, uh, which, how many rows are there? Only two rows and the index starts from zero. So, zero and one are only the valid positions. Two is invalid position. Same thing, same thing for in this example for the column value. How many columns are there? Three columns. So, zero column, one column and the two column. Three is invalid position and the same way two is invalid position for the row value and three is the invalid position for column value. Hence, all the three, they are invalid positions and will result into garbage value. And So, thank you friends for listening and watching this video. If you like the content and the video, please like the video and subscribe my channel Tech Talks and also share it with your friends. Thank you.